Hey everybody! Today I don't have a whole lot to do, so I decided that I would call my friend up and we would go over to the local supermarket called Maxi Pally. And um, I'm gonna buy a few ingredients. I also wanted to look for a few like clothing items, so I'm gonna do that. Um, and I wanted to show you guys along the way, and then I'm also going to be including a really sweet recipe that is uh, very traditional to Costa Rica, so stay tuned for that. It's really humid outside. It's like about to pour rain, so um, I'm really hot. I'm gonna do a little bit of an unbagging for you, or like I guess like a grocery haul, so you can see what I got from Maxi Pali. Maxi Pali is basically like a grocery store, a really large grocery store. It's basically the Walmart-owned grocery store here. So I'm gonna cool down a little bit, and then I'll show you everything that I got. I'm back. Um, I'm gonna start with this first one that I got and I ended up having to buy this really cute bag because I got a lot more stuff than I had expected to buy and this was only like 1,000 colones which is about two dollars. I got this shirt, it was four dollars. Got it in a large just because I wanted something really like loose. I got two white men's shirts. Um, just really basic, again, large because I want a larger fit. And these were 1,000 colonas each, so $2 each. Ever since I moved here, I've had a lot of problems brushing my hair because it's really long and really thick, and the humidity makes it so it's almost impossible to brush. Until I was introduced to Pantene's cream for combing. I've never seen it in Canada. When I went to Canada, I tried to buy it and I couldn't find it. So I got the anti-frizz one. There's a few different ones, like a strengthening one, um, re reparation one, a few different ones, but I decided to get the anti-frizz because I have a lot of frizzies lately. And this is like literally a godsend because I just put it in after I shower and I can comb my hair. If I don't put it, I literally will be bald just pulling all of my hair out. So Pantene cream for combing, combing cream. It is a godsend. All right, what else did I get? All right, because we're dealing with the coronavirus, I got antibacterial soap, mandarin and pomegranate, as you can see in the photos. It's just really basic. It was like, what, like a $2? <laughs> um, oh yeah, my favorite. I got La Bello. I was looking for Blistex just to keep my lips a little bit moist. I've been finding they've been a bit dry from staying inside all the time and using air conditioning. Um, this is the Med Repair and has an SPF 15. SPFs are definitely important living here because the sun is so extremely hot. And I love the smell of it. It's kind of like minty and also a little bit like coconutty. It's really nice. Okay, so we're done for this bag. And look at that cute little cupcake. Here we go. There we go. Look at that cute little cupcake. Okay. So we're gonna move kind of forward onto the foods now. So we have here, I love these lettuces. These are hydroponic, basically like Boston lettuces, or it says here, <laughs> lechuga crispy, <laughs> which I think they meant to write crispy. Mayonnaise, Hellman's mayonnaise. Everyone loves it, right? This is chili dulce, sweet chili. 
It is basically a very typical pepper here. It's kind of like a mix between green and red. These are cheaper than buying the regular bell peppers that have the specific colors. And it's pretty much used in almost every single recipe that would be Costa Rican. And it's just basically a flavor component. All right, ooh, I forgot that I got these ones. There's more than one too. This is, I believe, granadilla. A lot of people confuse this one for passion fruit, but it's a little bit different because passion fruit, when you open it, is bright yellow and really quite sour on the inside. But this one is a little bit sweeter. I'll open one up a little bit later to show you guys. Let's see here, whole black beans. This is another hint to what I'm gonna be making. This is going to be included as a topping for the main thing that I will be making. This, we got two of these. I haven't ever tried these. It says Costa Rica Agua Dulce, which is basically sweet water. And it is sugar cane juice with lemon. I've never tasted it. And I'll probably give you guys a little review about it because I'm very curious. Actually, let me try it now. Not very cold, but let's see. It smells very sweet. It is very sweet. You know, it tastes mildly burnt sugar with lemon. Or like when you mix maple syrup with lemon. It's actually really good. How much sugar does it have in it? So for one can, it only has 13 grams of sugar. That's kind of surprising considering it's sugar cane, but good stuff. Okay, lemons. These are mandarin lemons. So if you've never seen them before, they basically look like limes. However, you when you cut them open, they have like an orangey color. They're different. They're really good for making salsas, putting in with like soda water and stuff like that. The flavor is so different. We actually can't find yellow lemons here very easily. So these are a really popular and common option. Onions. This is uh, a type of cheese. I actually have never tried this one myself. So yeah, this says here, fresh and bland. <laughs> the true taste of cheese. Um, queso fresco, it says right here. This is one of those cheeses that apparently it kind of like strings out when you pull it. And we're going to be putting this with the recipe that we are making today. I'm excited to try it because I've never tried it. And apparently this cheese you can only get at Maxi Pelli. I'm not really sure about that, but. All right. So next up, cilantro. So this is a different kind of cilantro. It's not like the leafy one that you would find in Canada or I don't know where else. This is called cilantro cayote. It's really prickly on the sides. It is way more fragrant. It is really great for making salsas, cooking with meats, pretty much anything where you'd want it to be more of a prominent flavor. It is really delicious and really easy to grow. I actually have a plant of this in my patio and that will also be a main flavoring ingredient for the thing that is going with tomatoes, onions, and lemons. These are plantains, it's not a banana. These are kind of underripe for my recipe, um, but it's the only ones they had because everything in the, all the vegetables in the store today were really fresh. So um, you have to do this recipe with green plantains. Otherwise, everything will burn and it won't taste good. And this is what I'm gonna use to smush. <laughs> Look closely, this is actually a tortilla maker but I just figured this would be really handy. It would look better to make the video for you guys. And my final thing, check that out. The yellow fruit here is a Nancy fruit. And it's kind of like, I tried one for the first time the other day, but I think it was underripe because it was extremely bitter. But I even thought to myself in that moment, like in that very moment when I tried it, I was like, this would be kind of good as a wine. And I was just walking around in the store today and I came across this. So it's like Fiesta brand Vino de Nancy, which is Nancy wine. It has 11% alcohol, so it's basically a regular wine. It cost $4. 
It's an artisanal product in Costa Rica, made in Costa Rica, and it cost me $4. I'm like, wow, that's crazy. Anyway, I am so excited to try it. So that is um, everything that I got today. We are all out of things to show you. So now, I guess what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get to cooking it. All right guys, here we are in the kitchen. So we're gonna start by making a few different recipes today. I wanted to get started with the chimichurri that we're going to be making, which is basically a tomato salsa. After that, we're gonna be doing a refried bean recipe. So all of this stuff can kind of go on to our main item, which is gonna be patacones. And patacones are a, it's basically a fried plantain that you smash up, fry again, and you have it kind of like a little plantain tortilla sort of thing. It's really delicious and I hope you guys like watching this and it inspires you to try making them at home. So basically you want to cut the tomato to be quite small. <laughs> um, you want it to be kind of like bite sized. And I'm using two tomatoes because I want to have lots of salsa. Okay, that's probably enough. <laughs> I'm gonna use one kind of small medium onion. And with the onion, you wanna cut it even smaller than the tomato because nobody wants like a big chunk of onion in their mouth. Okay, so next up we're going to be using our cilantro. I will probably use about maybe half, almost half of this. So I'm just gonna wash it up and start chopping. So here's how we're looking so far. I'm going to add in our mandarin lemon. So I'll just chop that open. And if you can see, it's got kind of like a nice yellow hue to it. So I'm gonna put one full lemon. So another really important part to this will be adding salt. Cover up, and this will sit in the fridge for, well, the longer the better. So I am going to be adding about four to five leaves of cilantro, half of the sweet pepper, and half of an onion, a small onion, um, about two, Cloves of garlic. Lisano sauce will be one of those things that we will be adding to the beans to give it that Costa Rican flavor. The idea is to have it thicken up a little bit. So you want to cut it fairly thick. So I'm just going to lay each of these into the oil. and we're gonna get it back in that oil. All right guys, so there we have it. We have our pate con. I'm going to show you guys here. 
beautifully golden fried. This is our refried bean. A little bit of the chimichurri. Wow, look at this cheese. All right, we'll get that cheese on there. All right, guys, here's a special moment. We're gonna eat them. They're like crispy on the outside. The beans are nice and creamy looking. I've got the cheese and then the tomato salsa. So let's go for it. Sorry if this gets a bit messy. Mm. My nose took a dive bomb in there. Mm-hmm. That is so good. Look at that like, there's like a little pocket in there from the frying. So, something to keep in mind if you're gonna be making patacones is that they are best eaten immediately. They lose their crisp if you wait too long and they're not really the best if you like wanna put them in the fridge and save them for later. It's kinda like one of those things where you like make it and you eat it. All right guys, I'm gonna wrap this up here. I've got myself another one to enjoy. It's getting pretty dark in here. We've got a thunderstorm coming. So I really do hope you guys enjoyed this video and learning how to make these recipes and that you get a chance to do this yourselves at home. If you guys have any questions or if there's anything you wanna know or you try it and have your own experiences, don't forget to leave a comment below. And if you like the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more videos on my channel, don't forget to subscribe. We can be friends. Thank you so much, guys, for watching, and I'll see you next time.